Hello guys, welcome back to the structural geology course. Um, today we are in lecture six and we're dealing with uh, river valleys and um, um, river valley conduits. Um, this um, will help you understand what we call the outcrop patterns, which is why we want to start with this lecture six so that now in lecture seven, we can start now to talk about the outcrop patterns, which they are very helpful for interpreting the geological maps. All right, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But above all, don't forget to hit the notification button below so that you get notified once we upload new content now <clears throat> um the river valley um it's 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 nothing but the formation of um a valley all right um so these um, um river valleys are made up of um are made over a long time by water cutting into the ground all right we know that when um the rain precipitates we're gonna have smaller and streams and then and then and then this the, the when the smaller streams joins together they're gonna now um um form a a a a, a a river which is uh, now powerful uh, or the water will now be powerful to form now the uh, to flow through the river or, or along the river and then now when that water flows along the river it starts now to 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 get, dig into that into into the land now making what you call the channel all right and then the channel now with time it will become wider and wider why it becomes wider this is because um uh, the rocks and the sediments um 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 on the on the uh, what do you call the river valley wall are now are prone to collapse all right now with time now um the the sediments and the rocks along the river wall the river valley wall becomes um they collapse and then now they widen there they widen the river valley now different things like the type of rocks and how steep the land is affect how fast the the valley forms i mean if if if, if it uh, um um in 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 cases wherein we having the soft um, um, rocks like sedimentary rocks, then then the valley um, would form faster. But if we talk about the, the, um, some environments wherein we've got some granite, the quartzite, and many others, um, I mean those rocks are harder, and then and then the river valleys will take time to to develop. Okay, sometimes the movement of the earth crust, like um, when the ground shifts in earthquake, can also change the shape of of the the, the shape of the valleys. Okay. So um, I hope it makes sense. So um, overall, the rivers and the forces of nature work together over a long time to create the valleys we see today. Okay, the bottom of the river is easily worn away by the, by the water. All right, so when we're looking at the, the um, if we've got a valley um, like this, if, if we've got the valley like this, um, initially uh, the when the rain starts, it will be something like this, but with time, because of the uh, rocks and sediments along the river, uh, along here, here, okay, here, they are prone to, um, they are prone to, 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 to subsidence, and then they would now in turn make sure now that um, this is wider, all right? Now, um, so and then and then with time because the um uh, uh <clears throat> so because now the the bottom of the river is easily worn away by the water remember let's say we um what can i draw it's fine let me just draw here uh, okay let me show you how the river forms okay the river valley so um Let's say you had this, you had the land like that, and then the rain start to precipitate, you know, in the form of what you call making, what you call some reels. Reels are smaller passages um, or smaller, um, 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 well, how can I put it? Uh, some fractures through which um the uh, when rain starts the the the, the, the rain follows uh, the water follows the what you call the the the, the rills or the, okay then now um with time the rills they start to you know form something like okay the water keeps digging down and then this yeah the rills would, would be something like that all right but now 
Um, but now, because the the river, the riverbed here at the bottom the, or the bottom of the river is easily worn away by the by by water, then this would now with time become something like that. Because the riverbed is, is prone to erosion. All right. But um now the slope becomes unstable as it goes down the slope it becomes unstable okay so because the river keeps digging deeper into the ground then now the 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 the, the, the slope becomes unstable or the sides of the or, or the sides of the river channel um it becomes un unstable and then they they, they 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 became weakened all right and then and then if they're weakened they are prone to to collapse okay or they're susceptible to collapsing all right um now with time this portion would now collapse would now collapse the side would now collapse and then and then in the end would have something like that this is what you call the river this is what you call the river valley i hope you understand how it, it, it forms okay that's why when we when when this happens the sides of the river channel get weaker and and and, and can collapse while the sides collapse the uh, the valley starts to look like a v all right that's what we call a river valley and then now um i'm, I'm sure you are asking yourself why do I have to learn this? I mean, it's like we are now uh, doing the geography. We are not doing geography. Remember, um, um, as, as a structural geologist, you need to know um, um, your environment. You need to know your topography. You need to know your rivers so that you can now be able to interpret the geological maps. All right. So um, um, this is exactly what I was talking about where in we're mentioning the river valleys. Now um, these um, the river valleys, and then and then if we move from this point to let's say that point, okay, this would be the same. Um, they would represent the same level height, and then we say they are um, a, a river valley contours. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna explain to you why these things are very important in structural geology, river contours. But now, I just wanted to um show you um the river valley all right this is example of the river valley and then and then yeah then and then we call this portion we call this portion a river valley wall a river valley wall okay we call it a river valley wall and then and then okay and then this will be the river bed and then or the the the, the, the river flow all right this will be the river flow okay yeah, so you need to understand these things as structural geologists so that you can understand what you call the rule of Vs, which we're going to cover in um, lecture eight, the rule of Vs. Remember, um, the rule of Vs that would um, help you to, you know, master the interpretation of geological maps. But now, first, you have to understand the river valley formation and, of course, um, the river valley contours, all right? The river valleys have contours because, sorry about that, um, the river valleys have contours because they form through the erosional processes of flowing water over geological time scales. You've seen how the river valley forms, okay? As the river flow down, uh, downhill, they erode um, um, the surrounding landscape. You've seen, okay, I, I told you that um, the, 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 the side of the river channel is um, um, prone to collapse, all right? Yes. Now, caving out channels and valleys along the path of least resistance. Now, the Contours of river valleys reflect the underlying topography with lines connecting points of equal level, uh, uh, elevations. I've, show, I've, I've, I've showed you um, the lines of equal elevation. These um, contours reveal the shape and the gradient of the valley, highlighting the features such as ridges, slopes, and depressions. All right. Now, have you seen that uh, the, um, uh, the, the contours, they were crossing the river valleys. These keep this in mind, that the contours, um, they would be crossing the river valleys, okay? Because that would be very important um, as we go um, on. Now, by mapping these contours, geologists and cartographers uh, uh, can depict the three-dimensional terrain of river valleys on two-dimensional maps, providing valuable information for the navigation, land use planning, and the environmental management. 
management. River flow um, downhill, usually along the lowest land on the map, when contour lines cross a valley, they form a V-shape. When the, those contours, I've, I've showed you how the contours, okay, the, the lines connecting, um, 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 the lines of what we call the, uh, the equal elevations. When they cross the river valley, they form a V-shape with the point of the V always pointing uphill. All right? When the V-shape of a contour is pointing uphill, then it means the river is flowing um, 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 downhill. All right? So um, let's say, let's say um, we have got this... Um, river valley we've got this river valley and then of course would be having some you know contours would be having would be having some contours would be having some contours would be having some contours and whatnot uh, okay um, not drawn to scale yeah so uh, we be having these contours behaving these contours so the contours would be crossing the 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 river valleys now but because we know that the rivers flows downhill, all right? Um, um, unless uh, and uh, um, some unforeseen circumstances, I once had this lecture of mine. Uh, said there is um a certain river in in Venda Court in Jerere. Um, he said it's flowing upstream. So I don't know about that. I never visited um that place. But nonetheless, um the river flows downhill usually along the lowest land on the on the on the map. All right. Now when the contour lines cross the valley, they form they form the V the 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 the, the, the V shape with the point of V always pointing the now then then now that V if it, the V not uh, 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 um, sometimes it can you know point towards the um it can point downstream sometimes it can point upstream you know yeah so sometimes it can point upstream sometimes it can be you know parallel with these um contours sometimes they can cross cut you know there are many situations but we're going to understand that in the chat when we've been dealing with what you call the rule of this now these v's these v's are the ones which we call them the outcrop patterns by looking at these v's they tell us much about whether the strata is you know whether the strata uh, the, the strata is um horizontal or is dipping or it's 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 having the dip of 90 degrees you know you can learn a whole lot about this but now you first have to understand that the contours the structural contours or the valley um or the river valley contours and the, the, the river valley formations because now these things are going to be very important and they're going to help you or make uh, 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 for you uh, uh, or make it uh, simple for you to understand the the, the rule of these now um, um, let's um, take a look at these um, you know diagrams you know um, let's take a look now the v is pointing upward the V it's pointing upstream. It means now the river is going this way. Okay, this is understanding the river valley contours. That when 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 these when when we've got these contours, the contours remember they connect the um, uh, point of or the point of equal elevation. Okay, but now, um, uh, when now V's they're gonna be forming the V's now. This V is pointing upstream. Now, if the V is pointing upstream, it means the river is flowing downward. This is the rule of thumb. Always keep that in mind. Now, can you now see that the V it's um 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 remember this is that valley. Remember this is that valley. This is that valley. Oh, sorry about that. This is that valley that I showed you. Uh, never mind about, uh, never mind my 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 sketches. But yeah, this is that valley. Ah, um, this is too bad. Our oh, this is too bad. No, I can't. Let me try my level best. Um, um, let's yeah. This is that valley. You remember that valley that you just saw earlier? Yes, I've tried my level best. Clap hands for me. Yes, nonetheless, I told you that now if I take um, this point and that point, I connect them. 
this would be uh, the river value contour all right now um you'll be doing that and then 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 then, then now but now um these things those you know keep on whatever so but in this case they are in this format they are in this format all right so um this is just the a b is just for you to you know draw what you call them um the cross section along the river all right or cross cutting the river now um if you can check you start now to develop the contours. Uh, you're having the contours, you're having the contours, you're having the contours. Uh, but now you develop the V, all right? The V is now pointing upward. If it's pointing upward, it means it, it, if it point, it's pointing upstream, it means the river is flowing that way, which is why, the, uh, um, yes, the river would be, it will be flowing that way. It means here, yeah, the river, it will be flowing that way. All right yes okay um um even here you can see uh, that you have got the the river valley and then then you have got now the contours um or the v now that is uh, pointing upstream then meaning the river is flowing that way this is just for, um um to help you understand the the what's happening um when we're talking about the river valleys and now can you now see here we've got that valley and then we've got these contours we've got these contours we've got these contours uh, we've got these contours and then if we this can be reflected here if of course you want to do a uh, draw what you call the, the section and stuff but now um, um this is just to show you that when the the v is pointing upstream it means the river is um, um, um flowing in this direction i hope it makes sense all right um yeah i hope it makes sense uh then yeah um as you can see here that you have got the um, river valley you've got the river valley and then you'd be having um the contours you'd be having the contours you'd be having the contours and whatnot and then here you can see and then and then you can see here that um initially let's 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 get this okay in this way all right and then um, you'd agree with me that um, initially this um, uh, um, we 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 had the 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 flat area. So if 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 for example we were to imagine um, a flat, featureless. Sorry. Okay, just close your eyes and imagine a flat a, a feature a, a featureless area. All right then then if we have got the flat uh, a, feature, a, a featureless area yeah? then all we would see at the surface would be one type of the rock all right so if 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 um um we've got uh, remember initially this area it was like that it was like that same for uh, for instance um in the form of layers um uh, these layers are undisturbed and they follow the law of uh, the law of superposition you and you've got the layers like that all right and then and then and then um um in one of our lessons in the structural uh, uh, geology course we talked about the continuity and the discontinuity these layers are continuous so the layers would be continuous would be undisturbed until um where in we start to to disturb them and then in this case we um, um disturb them in the form of a river all right then forming a river valley like that now these layers now they 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 become um, um discontinuous it means um this one it uh, 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 what's happening with the pen Okay, this one now it's no longer continuous with with that one. All right, it's no longer continuous with that one. So I hope it makes sense. Now, um, uh, because of this principle or or, or 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 the concept of discontinuity, now um, we we uh, uh, it, it 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 means now we have the 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 rocks. All right, we've got the rocks that this side that can be correlated with the other rocks that side. I hope I hope it it it, it makes sense. All right, so um, 
One thing I want to bring to your attention is if the area was just flat, the area was just flat like that before uh, 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 being, you know, cross-cut by a river valley or anything, then um, when we're going to be dealing with what you call the outcrop, okay, patterns, then you're going to see that when you are looking that on the geological map, all right, you're going to see, because it's flat, featureless area, you're going to um, observe and the surface uh, on the surface you're gonna observe on the surface you're gonna observe one type of a rock if we've got the flat featureless area where in this area has got the the stratas which are uh, or the strata which is uh undisturbed then 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 um um, you're gonna observe one type of the of, of a rock on the surface when you're looking um on the on the on your geological map Okay, it means that this would be whichever the rock uh, happened to be at the same height as as the as the plane. All right, then then the geological map would show one type of rock only. The geological map would show one type of rock only if we had now uh, we had this the, the 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 continuous layers. The geological map would show one type of a rock, but now because of the effect of a discontinuity. Okay, it means um um because in 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 reality, all right. Um, remember um uh, in reality you can never have um, the rocks you know that are just there they are undisturbed and many other things, all right. And then the area uh, in reality cannot be flat and featureless. But if we've got the area that they have got some mountains or some hills, some valleys, you know, like this, you know. That cut cross or that uh, uh, cut through the horizontal layers like that. That cut through the horizontal layers. Okay, then we would see more than one type of rock when we are viewing um, or when you are observing these features on the on the geological map. Immediately when we've got the 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 the, 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 the hills, the valleys that uh, uh, cut cross the horizontal layers, then on the map we start to see more than one type of a rock. Okay. The, the, now you'd see that with many colors on that geological map. Okay. Now then, then, then you'd agree with me that if the map has got some topographic contours, then the boundaries between the rock types. Are, remember, these are the boundaries. These are boundaries. This would be rock one. Let's say two, three. Then these boundaries. All right. Remember, the map has got some um, um, topographic contours. Then the boundaries between the, um, the these uh, the, these type these layers will now outcrop in shape that follow the contours. Remember, these are the boundaries. These are the boundaries um, that separate different uh, 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 rock types. All right. Now, um, 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 now the, the 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 these boundaries between these rock types will always will always outcrop will always outcrop in shapes. Yo, what's happening? I don't know what I did. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so um, this will always outcrop, outcrop in 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 shapes, in shapes that follow, in shapes that um, follow the contours. This is the rule of thumb. Okay. So, so the boundaries, these boundaries are very important because um, um, these boundaries will always now outcrop in, 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 in shapes that follow, that follow the contours, okay? Why? Because the beds are horizontal. Now, the boundaries between them can exist only at a particular height, okay? So I hope I hope you understand now, um, which is why you are because of remember the initially we had the horizontal layers that were continuous, but now um, uh, with time you know we have got the valleys that develop and then cut through the 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 the, um, the horizontal layers and then and then then now the boundaries between the different types of rocks or the rock layers would now um 
outcrops in shape that follow uh, the contours. And then now those um, 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 shapes, those shapes that follow the contours are what we call the, um, they define what you call the outcrop pattern. Now as the structural geologists, we are looking for that, those shapes. Then that's what you call the rule of these. They would help you now to understand the, uh, the um, structural features okay on the map i hope um this makes sense so um and this um brings us to the end of uh, lecture six let uh, meet in lecture seven wherein now we are going to be dealing with what you call um the outcrop patterns i'm gonna uh, um, um, discuss what generally are outcrop patterns and why are they important and then in lecture eight we're gonna now deal with um the rule of these we're going to now deal with the rule of these. All right. So thanks for um, attending this lecture. Please don't uh, forget to like, share, comment, and hit the notification button below. And if you have got um, the topic of your choice that you want us to cover in um, this series of structural geology, you are more than welcome to um, 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 comment in the comment section or mention that in comment section, and we're gonna look into that. Let's meet in um, um, in another lecture. Until next time, cheers.